What up, everybody? It's your boy, Agent, and we're back. We are finally here. It is upon us. NFL Week 1. Yes, we are only a few days away from our hometown Detroit Lions opening up against the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, it will be a, a big one for the city of Detroit. But with that being said, I'm here to talk about my Pittsburgh Steelers. We open up this Sunday against none other than almost the NFC champions. They almost won. They were game short. Brock Purdy got hurt. But open up against the San Francisco 49ers at home. We finally get a, a home up with for the first time in quite a while. So it feels good. Um, as we all know, Pittsburgh will be an underdog in this game, which is okay. I believe it's a 2-2.5. Two, two it's starting to go down a little bit. There's a lot of rumors starting to go up. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so, you know, teams start getting that practice in, putting it in, installing, and all, all that stuff. But we are here. I'm happy about it. Um, a couple quick news and notes about this game. Now, we all know Nick Bosa is going through a contract um, dispute right now, a situation with the 49ers. He hasn't been in camp. Um, who knows if he gets a deal done. But Mike Tomlin today said he is preparing as if Bosa will play, which I think is a smart play. Even if he plays, I don't feel like he's going to play 100% of the snaps because he hasn't been in camp. So he could get a muscle a muscle injury. It's pretty easy to pull a hand, tweak a hamstring, quad, twist your ankle. He's got to get back in the game shape. So I think we're in good position on that. Then there's also a report that George Kittle may not play. Um, one of their best players on offense, not only great at catching, but great at blocking. So you use him as a... That's another offensive lineman. Now, in my opinion, I'm just being honest, we'll see what he does this year. But I, but I think Brock Purdy's a little overrated. I think Kyle Shanahan, Shanahan turned him into what he was. Um, teams have a, a year of film on him, so we'll really get to see what he does. I think our defense will be able to attack him. I think we'll be able to win this game. But I will not underestimate Kyle Shanahan and company, man. I think it's going to be a great game, two historic franchises. But I do think the Steelers find a way to pull out this game, man. I'm going to go, my final score, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Steelers 27, San Francisco 20. Um, so those will be able to score some points this year, finally. They, they've they looked like the best team on paper, on offense, this whole preseason, offensively and defensively. I didn't want to overreact. That's why I haven't done any videos before this season, because now this is when it counts. But going into the preseason, they looked Clicking on all cylinders. Kennedy, Kenny looks great. I've tweeted about it. His pocket presence is looking much better. He's moving in the pocket well. He's reading. He's being very decisive. He looks like he's in command of this offense. And if he doesn't get it done this year, Matt Canada will be under fire. With that being said, Kenny was named a captain yesterday, along with Cam Hayward, Miles Killebrew, and there's one more person that's, that's slipping my mind right now. But the fact that Kenny was named the captain is big. They mean the guys trust in him and they believe in him. And got great guys to throw the ball to. George Pickens is going to have a breakout year. Pat Firemove continues to get better. Um, Darnell Washington is the second tight end after they cut Zach Gentry. So we're gonna we're gonna be good. Offensive line is gonna be much better improved. Now, right now, uh, Dan Moore Jr. is listed as the starting left tackle, which is okay with me. Broderick will get his chance in due time. Don't worry. Um, but that's a good sign. That means Dan's got much better over the years. So we'll see how he does protecting Kenny's blind side. The defense is looking is looking good per usual. I think now linebacker will not be a liability. It will be solid. It doesn't have to be great, but it's not going to be something we've worried about over the last few years since we lost Ryan Shazier. And now you got Landon Roberts. You got Cole Holcomb. So you got Quan Alexander to be signed. The days of Robert Spillane, no, it's not happening. I'm sorry. Devin Bush was great his rookie year, and then after that, I don't know what happened to him. I don't even think he made Seahawks roster, but we'll be good. Um, we got made a signing, uh, signed Desmond King in a, a slot nickel corner who's been really good in his career. He's made an all-pro team before on special teams, can do – can do all that stuff, man. So I like it. You got Joey Porter Jr. You got Patrick Peterson. Now you got you got a uh, Desmond King, man. I like who, I like what we're doing here right now. Elijah Riley made the team as an undrafted uh, rookie. Um, James Pierre, I think, is is on the short end of the stick when it comes to getting a lot of playing time. Levi Wallace will be good. I think we're just good in every aspect. It's like the safety that we can do to Monte Casey to go along with the stud, Minka Fitzpatrick, the best safety in the NFL. But the, the, the it's on the up and up, man. Now a lot of experts are trying to say the Steelers are a sleeper team, even be, even now. So I've been saying that the Steelers have a really great shot at making the playoffs, and I believe they will contend for a playoff spot. And that is a win for me this season if they can get into the playoffs. And I think next year is when they really take that really big step where guys will be going into going into their third year, man. So I th I think this is this is very big for this team. Kenny's an older guy, so I know he's – 
You know, I know he's a rookie last year, but he's an older guy, and I think this team will go as Kenny goes, and the veteran leadership will lead the way. But we're going to need some 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 big play from young guys like Keanu Benton, Nick Herbeck. Let's see what he does. I know he'll be a rookie. Um, I expect Demar Demarvin Leal to have a better year this year, going into his second year with some really good playing time. The breakout star on this team, in my opinion, will be Calvin Austin, as he'll be utilized as a weapon. Um, reverses, get him screen passes. Um, in a, in a return game, punt game. I think he's gonna have a, a big year, man. I'm I'm looking forward to this, man. I, Mike Thomas is gonna is is gonna continue to show you why he's one of the best coaches in the game and why he will be a future Hall of Famer, man. I'm telling these people, man. Now everybody wants to jump on the bad wagon and say they the sleeper contenders. Now, do I think they're still as realistic going to the Super Bowl this year? No. Um, but I do think they can definitely contend and get in the playoffs, and then anything can go from there. But that is that is where I'm setting the bar right now. Um, the schedule is you know it's not bad, but that being said, you open again, open up against San Francisco, man. So open up against San Francisco versus Cleveland at Los Angeles Raiders, uh, Las Vegas Raiders. I'm sorry. Um, at Houston versus Baltimore. So you got to continue to stay 500 in this path. With the AFC is tough, man. And as we all know, we play in one of the best divisions right now with with Cleveland, with Baltimore with Cincinnati. So, you know, you got Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Deshaun Watson. Those are three really good quarterbacks. Um, So, we'll see what happens, man. I'm excited, ready, to, ready for them boys to strap up and play at Heinz Field on, on Sunday, man. I couldn't be more excited, man. Still, this football is here, baby. We are officially here. I've been waiting for a long time. I expect a good year from this team and all the Steelers fans across the nation. Here we go. We know what we're going to do, baby. So, hey, it's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.